Certificate of Wildlife Registration, CWR. Do's and Don'ts. Before we start please, subscribe and click the bell button for more informative videos. Thanks. Now let's start. Let's talk about Certificate of Wildlife Registration, CWR. Based on the written law here in the Philippines. In Republic Act 9147. DENR. Administrative Order Number. 2004 62. Subject. Prescribing fees and other guidelines on the implementation of DENR. Administrative Order Numbers. 2004 55. And 2004 58. Both dated August 31, 2004. Pertaining to the registration of threatened, non threatened, and exotic faunal species under the jurisdiction of the DENR. Section 1 Policy and Objectives. In consonance with the policy of the state to conserve, manage, and protect its wildlife resources, and to encourage the sustainable use of these resources for the benefit of present and future generation. All wild faunal species including exotic species being possessed and maintained are required to register with the DENR. Section 2. Coverage. The registration shall apply to threatened, non-threatened and exotic faunal species in the possession of private person and entities. Further. The registration shall also apply to animals being maintained in the parks, zoo, aviaries, circus, shows, rescue centers and resorts, and the like for recreational, education, research and scientific purpose. Section 3. Fees. The issuance of the CWR for non-threatened faunal species shall be imposed with the following fees. 1. Fauna classified as non-threatened species, a. 1 to 50 heads, no registration fee except for the minimal fee of 50 pesos to cover administrative costs and services, b. 51 to 100 heads, fee. 500 pesos, c. 101 to 200 heads, fee. 750 pesos, d. 201 and above, fee. 1,000 pesos, wow! That's very cheap. So what are you waiting for? Be legal exotic pet keepers now. 2. Fauna classified as threatened species, mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and insects, a. 1 to 5 heads, fee. 3,000 pesos, b. 6 to 10 heads, fee. 4,000 pesos, c. 11 to 20 heads, fee. 5,000 pesos, d. 21 to 30 heads, fee. 6,000 pesos, e. 31 and above, fee. 7,000 pesos, 3. All conservation projects, being implemented by the Philippine government agency, office, or entity, are exempted from payment of fees provided in this order. Section 4. Requirements. Each applicant shall submit the following requirements. A. Duly accomplished application form, to be secured at the DENR field offices. B. Documentary stamp, to be affixed on the CWR. C. Inventory list of wildlife. D. Registration fee. Remember, you should also bring the proof that you purchased your pet to a registered legal seller. Section 5. Responsibilities of CWR holders. The following shall be the responsibilities of the CWR holders. Again you need to be a responsible pet owner. 5.1. Provide markings, or identification tags. 5.2. Allow DENR personnel access, to wildlife and facilities for inspection and monitoring purposes. 5.3. Acquire additional stocks only from DENR registered facilities. 5.4. Submission of the following. Annual inventory report. Acquisition reports within 15 days from new additional stocks. Production. Breeding report. Mortality report. 5.5. Conduct of other wildlife activities using the registered wildlife shall be undertaken in accordance with the pertinent provisions of this order. 
Section 6. Local Transport Permit. If you remember I already explained the use of this on my other video, but for the sake of this video. Local Transport Permit, LTP, the transport of wild faunal species, from the registered facility to another within the country shall be accompanied by a permit, secured from the DENR office. Section 7. Limitation. CWR does not confer the holder the privilege to collect animals from the wild, or to purchase, exchange or to receive any wild faunal species including its byproduct from an illegal sources. Further, CWR does not confer the holder the privilege to loan, or make the animals as collateral for any transaction, or financial obligation. Section 8. Bear with me guys this is the most awaited part here. Section 8. Privileges of CWR holders. CWR holders shall be entitled to the following privileges. 8.1. Utilize the registered wildlife as an income generating resource through recreation and educational activities. Animal shows, educational or school shows, must be accompanied by the DENR, show permit, and other local government permit. 8.2. Engage in the captive breeding of registered wildlife and enter into a profit-sharing scheme with the DENR, subject to pertinent provision on commercial trade, use of wildlife under this order and to the following. a. Only the registered progenies or those included in the list of economical important species shall be used for commercial purposes. Example. Progenies. Babies of your pet. Economically used. Those crocodile meat provider. B. A wildlife farm permit must be secured from the DENR regional office in accordance with the provisions of this order, so you need to apply for a WFP. C. Facilities for captive breeding of CITUS Appendix 1 must be registered with the CITUS Secretariat if the species are intended for export. Further, all progenies produced must be mark, tag, what is CITUS or CITES, refers to the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, a treaty regulating the international trade of fauna and flora listed in its appendices. d. Only captive bred species, that are listed under CITES Appendix 1 may be traded locally. If intended for exportation, existing rules and regulations on commercial trade of CITES species must be complied with. e. Exportation of progenies shall be subject to issuance of necessary export documents by DENR pursuant to existing laws, rules and regulation. 8.3 Engage in the exchange with, and or donation, of owned progenies to other CWR holders. Deed of donation can only be used, by CWR holder to CWR holders. Again CWR holder can donate the progeny to CWR holders only. 8.4 Avail of technical assistance from DENR, its office and employees, on matter pertaining to management of wild fauna species in their possession. And here is the favorite privilege of many. 8.5 Local trade or transfer, exchange of registered non-threatened faunal species shall be allowed. Provided that such sale, exchange, is registered with the nearest DENR office. I'll repeat non-threatened faunal species only. These non-threatened species include among other, species of tree sparrow, chestnut mannequin, nutmeg mannequin, red abadavat, white-breasted mannequin, quails, crested mina, but nowadays mina is on the endangered list because of the illegal poachers, budgerigars, cockatiels, and finches, exotic. 8.6 However the transfer of registered threatened species, may be allowed only to an immediate member of the family, within the third degree of affinity or consanguinity, provided that, same shall also be registered with the DENR. Section 9, Revocation, Cancellation of CWR, Deliberate Disregard, of the provisions of this order, shall result to the automatic cancellation of the CWR and shall cause the confiscation of all existing animals. You must abide the law. Section 10. Repealing Clause. All order, memoranda, circular and consistent herewith, are hereby repealed and or, amended accordingly. Section 11. Effectivity. This order takes effect immediately, date issued, October 12, 2004. 